Let's see if, if I can... Oh, shit, no! Oh, God. Well, guys, this sucks. Hello, guys. Bishop Butters here with another Equivalent Exchange tutorial. This is... Hey, wait a minute. You get in my pocket. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is yet another tutorial, and I need more jack-o'-lanterns about equivalent exchange. This time, it's matter generation, not EMC generation. Basically, same exact thing. Just a different name. There, let's get more jack-o'-lanterns since I forgot to make them beforehand, like the good planner I is. If you've already seen my EMC generation, then you know exactly what I'm doing here. You may or may not know the difference, so there we go. This is the uh ah This is the uh, same exact layout as the EMC power flower. So you you can just, you know, sing music to yourself in your head while I do this. Well, that's where I need another one to go, but I did not mean to place that there yet. You could just, you know, hum a little tune to yourself while I do this, because it's not important yet. Dun dun dun! Okay, now we do this. Okay. Now, in s this is the important part. Instead of a collector going in here for you to charge your client star like I have going over here. Actually, don't have this going over here because I used all my EMC. But. Instead of having this, you know, gathering EMC for use in a client star, you're gonna have it condensing into matter. Sorry, I fumbled over my words. In order to make an energy condenser, you need an alchemical chest, four diamonds, and four obsidian. And you get the energy condenser. Now you place the energy condenser where this Mark one, Mark three relay is, right there. Now, you can see this is the same thing as an alchemical chest, except it's got an EMC bar here and a target bar here. Now, let's see, what should I do? Like, let's say we put glowstone in there. Look how much glowstone it's already generating. Simple, right? It just gathers the EMC from anything you put in here, or the EMC it gathers from the flower, and it generates it into matter at the same exact rate of energy as this. Maybe a tiny bit more efficient. So I'm just gonna take this diamond out. Uh, I'm gonna put my glowstone dust in the uh, storage area and my diamond in the target area. And you can see, I've already generated one diamond from the EMC in there, one diamond there, and it's just gonna c continue on, constant. Wait a second, gotta clear my throat. <coughs> Sorry guys. but. That's it. That's how you make... Whoa. That's how you generate matter, as opposed to generate EMC. Now, you want to do this the same way as you did with the other one, and you want to... If you're using Mark 1 or 2 relays, you need to cover it with a light source, like, in this case, jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns are the least expensive, equivalent exchange-wise, light source in the game. Torches don't give off as much light as jack lanterns, so don't use torches. Indurcation torches, which are the equivalent exchange torches, are just too expensive to be effective, even though they give off the maximum light level possible plus one. Sunlight gives off the maximum light possible in the game without equivalent exchange, but you can see it's nighttime. And the only um, relays and collectors that give off maximum light naturally are the Mark III's. So, there you go. In here, we have a client star charger. Same exact concept there, it's just a collector in there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and tune in for more. Alright, see you guys next time.